Hi, Theater Mania. I'm Patti Lapone, and we're talking about War Paint on Broadway. Helena Rubinstein and Elizabeth Arden basically created the cosmetics industry as we know it today. They popularized the use of makeup. Before they came on the scene, uh, you know, makeup and cosmetics were really the province of prostitutes and actresses, and they saw to it that it uh, kind of trickled down and became part of it, uh, it, every woman's daily routine. At one point in their respective histories, each could claim to be the richest woman in the world. And it's, it's an American success story because both of these women were immigrants. One from Canada, the other from Poland. They came and they achieved the American dream because they were given the opportunity. There was no seat at the table for women in this period for what they were attempting to do. I mean, they really did an incredible thing. They really defied culture and defied statistics. And I think that's really applicable to today. It's really kind of just pursuing your passion, pursuing your dreams, and not paying attention to what the world is telling you you can or cannot do. The musical is based on a wonderful book by Lindy Woodhead called War Paint, and it was Lindy's genius. Uh, she paired these two women in a kind of dual biography because they were ferocious rivals. They despised each other. Legend has it that the two of them never actually came face to face. And no one had ever put their stories together before. So I decided as they were rivals and Creating a business as a battleground, especially at that point when you're a woman, before women have got the vote, that I would call it war paint because it was about makeup. So I thought, you know, Native American Indian battle war paint, put the two, and that's how it started. When you have two actresses who are both equals and yet don't meet, then you need two opening songs. You need two so-called 11 o'clock. You need two of everything. And it's kind of fascinating to try and make that work. <laughs> Patty and Christine bring their extraordinary, extraordinary artistry and extraordinary experience to these roles. They are both uh, phenomenal musicians with great ears, uh, in addition to being, you know, really the foremost singing actresses I think that we have today. I have one word that I use to describe this show that I don't think I've ever used before in my life, and it is sumptuous. This is just old school glamour and grandeur and beauty and elegance, and I think it's fantastic.